And I think now we need to we need to find the next water switch. The coward just stopped being dumb. I think it should be over here. Yep. And they conspicuously point to the little area over here, which we're going to use to unlock this area. And if you haven't played the game before, Rusty Bucket Bay is probably the most infamous level. And I've been saying that about a couple levels, but this level is the most infamous. There's actually one Jiggy that's supposedly really hard. Like some consider the hardest Jiggy in the series, besides Canary Mary. But it's actually not that bad once you get get it. Because basically... And I don't know why I swam down there. But basically you have to... The Jiggy is contained underneath the... In, behind the the rotating fan blade of the ship. And you have to... Basically you have to disable... You have to disable the fan blades by going inside the ship. And getting there to the fan blade is actually pretty hard because there's a bunch of rotating things you have to navigate and it's above a bottomless pit. So you have to, and there's a time limit too that you have to get over. So you have to navigate these moving platforms, and then get out, and and then get to swimming to where the jiggy is. And it can be quite an ordeal. I mean, I th I think it might be best to. T oh, there's a Momo token down there. We're gonna get that. But just, I really hope I don't die on it, because if I'm going to die in this game, that's where it's going to be. I mean, I've had better luck as late, just because my platforming abilities have improved. But still, it can be, it can be a hassle. I mean, some people consider it, like, impossible. Those people have no platforming skills. And I really love the music for this level, too. As I do for most the levels in this game. You gotta be careful because some of the pipes want to kill you. And some of the windows you can break out. I think the, the music here kind of reminds me of the music in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Yeah, right one to find right there is a co, so three one two one one one. And we need to pound out that sequence somewhere to get a jiggy. And then on the way we're gonna do that on the way to go into the top of the ship. Here we have our numbers right here. Three, one, two, one, one, one. Fairly simple still. But you gotta do a bit more exploring in this world. Go to the place where you don't think you'd be able to go to because there are some breakable windows. There are some places underneath the water they can enter that I wouldn't have thought of otherwise. Like a long time ago. And there's a there's a pretty cool remix of this song posted on I don't think it's on OC Remix, but it was posted. It's called Gold Ginger's Fake Orchestra, I think. And it's, it's kind of like, maybe a more industrial remix of the song. And I enjoy it. I don't know if I'll sync it up with the audio here. It doesn't sound too different, but just mixes it up a bit. And here we have our next Jiggy. 
the Momo token displayed nicely over there. And I think Kirk Grant Hope did a great job of this game. Oh, I forgot to get that note. That would have been terrible. Okay, we'll see if we can make this jump here. Okay, that's good. We're gonna raise this this box with the jiggy inside. And we don't have much time to get over there. And especially when the camera decides to do its own thing. God damn it. So now I have to do that all over again. It's like, oh, the, the box went down again. Yes, I know. I think I know why the time limit's there. So let's hope the camera will cooperate this time. Okay, so we got it, that's good. <laughs> Luckily the game doesn't trap us in there. And then the the door the windows you can break into, they have like a bit more of like the white stuff in the corner here. This one doesn't have as much, so you can tell if that's how you can break into it. And just make sure to find all of those that you can. Because there are going to be notes and stuff hidden inside. And a Momo token. Just the four notes. I don't know how long this level will take me. Apparently my, my leaderboard time shows up as like half an hour from my other time. And I just, I really don't believe that. That's just, it's ridiculously good for this level. We're gonna need lots of blue eggs for this level, for the toll booth. But it doesn't go out enough. So if we add more, it goes out all the way. So we can get those items up here. Maybe get some gold feathers here. No, you know that's that's just fine. I mean, I totally wanted to. I guess we can get the jiggy, but it's still dumb. But while we're down here, we're gonna swim into here, which is where our next honeycomb piece is. And if you're if you're swimming in this level, besides the Besides, in places like here, where the water's clean. You gotta, you gotta really book it, because you lose, you lose water, you lose air, even on the surface of the water. And in your underwater, you lose air twice as fast. So you gotta, you really gotta hustle. I mean, there's no reason to be lollygagging. That's why I don't like falling in the water. And that switch seems really pointless to me, but we'll go with it. That's why I need to get this. Okay, apparently I didn't hit you, you know? I mean, I attacked you with my beak. I should've popped you. There's our first honeycomb piece from the world. 